Guys, do you have any old inverter lying around in the corner collecting dust and spider webs? Well, why don't you convert it to a solar inverter and harness the energy of the sun? Here I have an awesome device which will allow you to do just that. Guys, this is the all new Asha Power MPPT with SMU feature. SMU means it makes all of your old inverters solar compatible. The model that I have right over here is known as Neon HV. And the HV part is very, very important. We'll be coming back to it in a bit. As you go to their website, which is ashapower.in, what you can find is a wide collection of machines starting from somewhere around 6,500 rupees. And they are available under different names such as the Surya series, Neon series and the Helio series. And plus, if you prefer buying an integrated solar PCU or as we call it a solar inverter, that thing is also available. The link to their website is available in the video description or in the first comment. Make sure to check it out. These machines will support variety of features and safety parameters as you can see on your screen. Let's talk a bit about this machine specifications and what is this big deal regarding the HV bit. The machine that I have is known as Neon 80 and it allows you to charge your batteries up to as high as 80 amperes and don't worry it's not going to force those 80 amps down the throat of your battery using this digital display you can calculate and calibrate what kind of current and voltage you want your battery to be charged with now let's come to the part regarding this hv bit now hv means high voltage and this machine supports high voltage or high voc solar panels if you connect this particular MPPT with a 12 volt battery, then you can connect up to 120 volts of solar panels. If you connect it to a 24 volt battery bank, then you can connect a complete solar panel array up to 165 volts. With 36 volt battery bank, it works up to 180 volts and with a 48 volt battery bank, it's going to work with an industry leading 210 volts. And yes, this is not the best part. The best part is that this single machine will support all of these batteries in a single package. So as you keep on upgrading from your 12 volt battery bank to 24 or 48, you don't have to change your MPPT. And this is the number one reason I went with this high end premium Neon 80 HV series. Now let's talk about what is the benefit of having HV or high VOC panels connected to your MPPT. Now most models which are available in market from other brands will support only 50 VOC panel for their 12 volt machine and 100 or 106 volt VOC panels for their 24 volt model. Even I have a machine like this, which is the UTL Gamma Plus 3350 review available over here. And it supports only 106 VOC, whereas this bad boy is going to support 165. So the benefit you get here is that with an HV model, you can put a lot of these solar panels in series, which will allow you to use thinner wires, which will cost less and it will allow you to optimize your wiring and overall save you from high voltage drop. Because as we know, higher voltage when combined with lower amps is going to have less voltage drop. That is why our transmission lines are like very high voltage in multiple thousands or lakhs of volts, right? They, they want to keep the amps low while keeping the voltage high so that the electricity is going to have less amount of voltage drop. On the other hand, if you opt for a regular LV, that is a low voltage model, then what you need to do is you need to put all of these solar panels in parallel. And when we add solar panels in parallel, the amperage goes up and hence you start requiring very thick and expensive cables. Plus you also need to invest in unreliable three in one branch MC4 connector, which means that basically more cost and more wiring mess. So whenever you're buying your next solar MPPT or solar PC, please consider an HV model for your best performance. Let's take a physical overview of this machine. And one thing that strikes you immediately is all metal build. This thing definitely feels very, very solid and nicely built. The size of this entire machine is simply double compared to my size tailor MPPT. And this thing is also pretty heavy, which means that the quality of internal components and different heat sinks is going to be heavy duty. Below the machine, what you get is this uh, large connector strip where you will be connecting your solar panel plus minus. The solar panel support is written over here. Here you will connect the battery plus minus and this is the SMU feature where you will connect the phase 
or you can say the input charging of your regular inverter to convert it into a solar inverter. On the right side here you get an informative sticker which explains how to turn and off on and off various modes and features but you don't have to worry because this thing also comes with a very detailed user manual and my own explanative videos are going to be coming soon on this channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button right away on top of this machine what you get is this uh, nice little fan which is going to vent out all the hot air and hopefully this machine is not going to have any kind of overheating issues which i used to face with my size tiller if you want to learn more about that incident then this particular video is available for you here in the i button or you can find the link in video's description and by the way guys what do you think should we make a tear down of this and compare the quality with other competitors let me know in the comment section below this machine supports both lead acid and lithium batteries and i thought well why not let's connect it to our all time favorite lifepo 4 super battery more information regarding this thing is available in this particular video and here i have connected a voltmeter to monitor the voltage and here we can see on the display there are variety of parameters available you can press this button and one thing that grabbed my immediate attention is voltage accuracy guys 13.3 so this is of utmost important if you are going to use your MPPT or solar inverter along with any kind of lithium or LIFEPO4 battery. So the voltage accuracy is definitely very very good. You can keep pressing this button and the display will continue to cycle through variety of uh, parameters. As you can see the units saved today. Uh, different uh, configuration this is the battery and this thing is asking for sunlight. I will arrange that in a bit. Here you can see the charging settings. Then we can move towards equalizing. If you have a lead acid you can use that. There are these max ampere settings and these are the shifting voltages grid to solar, solar to grid and here we have different voltage settings and there are I believe dozens of parameters embedded in this little digital display. So I am going to take my sweet amount of time to explain each and every parameter in a dedicated video. Well since this thing is asking for sunlight let's provide it a bit. Guys, for the sake of today's testing in lieu of solar panels, I have connected this 19 volt laptop adapter and of course our lithium battery is here. Guys, I recommend that you absolutely do not copy this setup. This is just for the testing purposes. Of course, you need to install solar panels over here and of course you can go with a larger lithium battery in place of this tiny teeny one. So guys, at the count of three, what we are going to do is we are going to bring the sun inside our home. So are you guys ready for the sunrise? I am going to press this button to start the SMPS power supply and what you guys can do is you can use your own buttons which are known as the like button and the subscribe button for this channel. Let's begin. Alright. 3, 2, 1. So here this thing is now on, powered on and this thing takes uh, about half a minute to recognize what's going on and then adjust the parameters and let me focus a bit on this display and it will soon detect solar and it will start charging this battery. And I can immediately hear there are some kind of relays or something going on and I think it has detected something and yes, here we go. The solar charging is now on and as you can see that uh, the battery voltage is climbing rapidly because of course it's a small tiny kit, it's going to go up. Let's focus a bit on different parameters that we see right over here. As you can see, this is on a 12 volt system. Uh, there are different parameters, inverter mode on, automatic bypass on and it's boosting 2.5 amps from the input and making out 3.2 amps using that. Panel voltage is around 18 and the battery voltage is 13.6. And the accuracy is of course maintained because here you can say 13.6, here you can say 13.6. Okay, so that's pretty accurate. Again, the accuracy thing has really impressed me because that's what important when it comes to lithium batteries. And by pressing the switch, you are going to, you know, you can watch variety of parameters and you can change the display, check out different voltages. So if you are a fiddle finger something like me who likes to play around with these uh, displays throughout the day and check out their performance then I think that this uh, set of button is going to keep you very very entertained. So overall I think yeah things seems to be working pretty good. Guys let's come to the most important part of this video which I guess you guys were eagerly waiting for that is the pros and cons section and honestly I didn't find many uh, deal breaking cons with this device but as I have my habit I need to 
nitpick and I provide a few cons for you. So I have put two cons over here on this laptop. Let's discuss one by one. The first thing is the related to this display and the three buttons right over here. I wish that uh, this kind of setup was uh, available with a four way keypad, which is like up, down, left, right, or maybe even a good joystick as you used to find in older Nokia phones. Now using this kind of three button setup is not very difficult once you learn about it, but using a four way keypad or joystick is going to be next level. The second con that I found with this device is that it does not have any kind of plug socket arrangement for connecting the SMU. Currently, if you want to convert your old inverter to a solar inverter, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to rip off the wires and, you know, connect them, uh, connect the bare copper wires to these uh, terminals right over here. And generally, as we see with uh, most of these branded inverters these days, uh, they come with this particular uh, 6 ampere or 16 ampere 3 pin plug top. And if you snip that thing off, maybe you will lose the warranty on your inverter. So if anyone from Asha Power is watching this particular video, my humble request would be that with your next version, please integrate a small plug socket section over here. I think UTL has a, a socket on their right side and I don't think it's going to be very difficult and that's going to help us preserve the warranty of our inverters while uh, making the installation pretty easy and currently speaking about this machine what you can do because I won't recommend that any of you snip off the uh, three pin plugs of your inverter and connect it like that. So here is a neat little trick that I did with my stabilizers again the problem with stabilizers was the same uh, it did not come with any kind of uh, plug socket feature and I did not want to cut off the plugs of my home appliances so what I did is I made this uh, neat little board and you can also make this a neat little board by following the instruction provided in this particular video. You can find these videos in the video description or in the I button section available right here. Let's talk a bit about the pros like what are the good things about this uh, MPPT SMU first thing solid metal build absolutely it comes with an SMU feature for bill saving as we discussed uh, earlier. The best part that I liked is this display comes with n number of configurable parameters and it does not matter what kind of battery you can use with this it could be an old lead acid battery maybe flat plate you could go with an smf battery you can easily connect a tall tubular battery and coming to lithium support it will support almost all kinds of lithium batteries like lithium ferrophosphate and lithium titanate because the range of settings that you get over here with respect to charging voltages and amperes is very very wide you can configure practically each and every parameter to get the best backup and life out of your batteries. And yes, uh, all this thing is backed up by industry leading three year warranty. Uh, let's talk a bit about pricing and discounts. And this particular model is known as the Neon 80HV. And this thing is priced somewhere around 18 to 20,000 rupees. It keeps changing. So again, links are available in the description for latest prices. You can check them out. Uh, if you go to Amazon website and if you start scrolling, you can find that there are variety of models which start from 699. And the benefit of uh, buying this thing from Amazon is that you can start using your debit card or credit card or even there are many of these uh, bank offers available and that will allow you to optimize the price even further. For your convenience, I have provided uh, the dedicated website as well as Amazon affiliate links in this video's description or in this uh, first comment. To support this kind of quality content, please consider using those affiliate links. And yes, I'll also try providing these products in the view products section, which is available right over here. Guys, uh, this particular video is, I think, just first among the entire series of technical videos that I'm going to make on this particular machine. So for all of those videos to come to you just like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button right away. I have thought of uh, various ideas that I can do with this thing. First is absolutely uh, it will be regarding this uh, digital display and how to make calibrations and adjustments when you want to connect it with a lead acid battery. We will also talk about lithium battery and we will talk about the optimal parameters that you need to set in this display for getting the best performance from your solar panels, be it with uh, tall tubular or lithium batteries. Second thing, uh, it would be a kind of challenge and this is an industry leading MPPT and I want to see it fight with another industry leading champion that is the Util Gamma Plus with their uh, famous RMPPT technology. I believe there are a lot of followers of uh, RMPPT 
utl gamma plus inverters out there and many of them are interested in seeing the performance like uh, what kind of voltage we get from the solar panel how does the machine boost it and what kind of amperage is provided to battery so the fight between uh, asha power mppt and utl gamma plus uh, mppt is going to be really really interesting to watch if you have any other idea other than these particular things then make sure to open up the comment window and comment your ideas right now for my testing guys if uh, these particular testing videos are already made then they'll pop up in the form of cards right here or right here these cards are clickable you can directly click on them using your finger or mouse jump to those videos and maybe watch some interesting testing from my side that's it for this neat little video guys i hope you like this one take care and have a nice day